Hello, readers. Today I have a book called If You Ever Want to Bring a Piano to the Beach, Don't, by Elise Parsley. If you ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't. There's the beach. I wouldn't bring a piano there, would you? If you ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't. If your mom says, get ready to play at the beach, she means with a boat or a frisbee or a shovel. She is not talking about the piano. If you roll out the piano anyways, she'll tell you, you'd better not lose it. You'll tell her that it's okay. You will hold on tight to your piano and keep it neat and clean. And you'll even promise to push it to the beach yourself. Cross your heart. But on the way, your arms will get heavy, your legs will get draggy, so you'll find the perfect way to move the piano along. When you feel rested, you will push again. Once you're at the beach, you'll need to make sure the piano still works. Finally, you'll stop for a lunch break. The seagulls will want to share your egg and cheese sandwich. This, you know, is not good for the piano, but you know just what to do. Bath time. You'll splish, you'll splash, the piano will bob up and down and up and down, then up and away, out of reach. By now, of course, you'll wish you had played with a boat or a frisbee or a shovel <clears throat> at the beach instead of the piano. By now, you'll wish you had played with your baby sister instead of the piano. You'll be so mad, you will want to just go home. Well, here's what I would do if I were you. Borrow your brother's fishing line. Cast it far, far out to catch your drifting piano. Then when you reel the line in, you might get your piano back or you might get a boat, a frisbee, or a shovel. Yeah, if you ever want to bring a piano to the beach, don't. You might lose it. But... You never know what you might find. The end.